Hello, N4H and H here. Uh, I'm going to compare a couple antennas for you. Yeah, a different uh, video. Uh, I've done some antenna comparisons before, but um, this one, 17 meters here. Band's relatively quiet. I've got some local noise uh, intermittent from my washing machine, but um, it uh, tapers off as I get higher in frequency, which is what pushed me up here. You can still hear it a little bit coming in there. Okay, fine, Jim. But look at this Take guy's care. signal. He's doing really well. Uh, he's coming out of Oregon, Dipole. Portland, Oregon this area. Is clear and listening. And, um, oh, I hope he transmits again. I want you to see the difference between my, uh, my antennas. Okay, there are at least three oh, good, good, good. I'll take a Bravo Juliet mic first. Go ahead. I do have digital noise reduction turned on. There's without it. When he comes back, I'll engage it and you can hear the difference it makes. Yeah, Roger. Well, the Mosley uh, beam is doing really well also. I used to have a Mosley Pro 96 Just back, engaged back it. in the day, Benny. My name is Michael. I'm running it pretty high because of the noise I'm getting Oregon. from the washing machine, Actually, and uh, I'm running it on 10. You can go as high as 15. West of Portland. I normally I'm run it down here about 4 or 5. Nike. Uh, running a flex 67. You can hear as I get a little expert, higher that it, uh, it'll cut the highs, about but, one and a half KW, but then they become, you know, they stand out more and the noise is pushed so down. Calling, you turn the volume but, up a little uh, bit to make up for uh, that. Out, so I thought I'd give you Hold a call it down over. to about seven. I, I know I don't have it panned over there where you can see the DSP, but this is not about DSP. I just wanted to let you know that I am running it for a reason. I usually run it anyway, but I just run it around three or four. So that is a ZS6BKW uh, antenna. It uh, doesn't require an antenna tuner on uh, uh, all of 12, 17, 20, and 40 meters and doesn't need one on 10 meters in the FM portion. And it does quite well on this band. Uh, must have a good load toward the west, northwest. And when he comes back, I'm going to be switching over to a Cushcraft R5 vertical, which also does fairly well on this band. But uh, in fact, I'll switch over there now. Okay, so, fine, very good. Oh well, here Thomas we go. Eddie, this is not There's our the Cushcraft R5. We spoke five years ago. In now I will tell you, his his signal's been about equal on both uh, antennas BK, because of QSB. W See, there I am back on the ZS6 BKW. But I want you to listen to the noise floor difference, of course. Okay, uh, first, I think it's 3M, go ahead. The vertical. See the noise floor with the vertical? Not terrible, though. But there's the noise floor with the horizontal. Okay, well, more or less inverted V. Uh, the ZS6 BKW, it's, I'm sorry, can you give me your call again it's configured more as, a, as an inverted V. Uh, you, we might we even call it a lazy okay, dipole. Okay, for rapid eye movement, W7RAT. We're already doing a good okay, job. I'm on the ZS6 BKW. You can see the QSB. Uh, I'm not going to hold it. That there are more stations There's the vertical. Calling. The vertical's doing pretty well. He's almost hitting uh, uh, off, S9 but, plus uh, 10. I did hear you but look at him drop on the vertical, like too. Now back to the ZS6 BKW. He's been about neck and neck between the two antennas. So, um... Both do quite well. I like the noise floor better on the ZS6 Bravo Kilo Whiskey antenna. Uh, I've, I've built a lot of antennas, but on this one, the price was right from uh, ni4l.com, so I just bought one. It is so well made. Fine. Okay, so the, R, the right now the R5 is pretty is, is doing you know, pretty consistent. I believe. Go ahead. He's uh, flirting right up there at uh, 10 over 9. That is an off-center fed dipole. See how he does on it when he comes back. It's, it has the lowest noise floor of all of my antennas.
it's also oriented yeah, different. Roger Richard, yes, uh, the fires are very there he is on the off center fed dipole. Uh, we're surrounded by wildfires. Uh, looking out the window here, the sky back to the vertical. Now yeah, he's dropped on the vertical, you know, that's why he, there we go, off center fed. Different, but it's uh, ZSX BKW. Everyone's remaining pretty much indoors. You know, when they're it's fading unhealthy. on one, they're usually coming up on the other. Now I'm going to switch over to my doublet. Wow, the doublet. Now, see, later in the afternoon, the doublet will probably be better. Um, that's 250 feet of wire fed in the middle with um, open wire line. That's still the doublet. Where I've located, we're not uh, to be close to Back the fire, to the vertical. But, yeah, uh, he just took a natural phase, what it was. And then there's the off center fed dipole. Richard, I'm not going to hold this. I heard other And that one is a Fritzl well. FD4, so 3 kilowatt model. Up, but you're doing a good job for mission uh, Back to the uh, Coast Craft R5. Doing pretty well. Back to the doublet. The doublet uh, seems to be the most inconsistent right now, it, but it has my highest gain out in that direction because it has some pretty, pretty uh, stout lobes up here on these higher bands. Back to the G. Uh, well, it is uh, the ZSX BKW is a form of G5 RV, but it's been computer optimized. And uh, works very well without a tuner, on, like I said, on five bands. So there's the noise floor with the uh, ZS6BKW. Boy, the QSB is crazy. Look at that. Pushcraft R5. Was that Alpha Alpha 4 November Charlie? Question mark. Off center fed. Now, if you're wondering. Um, my wire antennas, well, the doublet the alpha, alpha and one, the ZS6 BKW are at, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit, are at about 45 feet um, at the apex. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're, you're kind of close um, to noise level. The doublet so is I definitely a lazy dipole, it's not an inverted alpha, V. Alpha 1 November, question um, mark, over. And, uh, you know, if you wonder what, what I mean by lazy dipole, if you never heard that term, you, you didn't get the uh, angle at the apex yeah, Roger, alpha, sharp alpha, enough November, or, or what have you to be considered inverted V. Uh, good morning, Basically, it just good morning, means that ben. the middle of your dipole is higher uh, than the ends, the but the ends are still, I know you know, you're up there pretty well. So, um, vertical. Again, right uh, now, I'm on the ZS6BKW. There's the doublet. Like I said, this afternoon, the doublet may do better. Um, it's just that way sometimes with propagation. R5. R, they, now, the, the off-center fed, there it is. Like I said, very low noise floor on that thing. Um, yeah, roger, roger. Okay. It uh, is uh, my, at about uh, 50 uh, feet now you've got a at the apex. It is an inverted V. They recommend that you have a 150 degree uh, angle at the, the apex, and I do. Even off the back. You are making a um, although I, I will tell you, I've used that antenna as a flat top. I've, I've even had it, if you were looking down from an airplane, it looked like a letter L. It just, it just works. Um, it's a pity that uh, Kirk Fritzel passed away, but there are, there are some companies still carrying on and making the Fritzel as F-R-I-T-Z-E-L F-D-4. There's various models. I like the F-D-4 in the three kilowatt version. Uh, so you have a really robust ballon. You don't have to worry about uh, saturating the core of your ballon. So that's still the off-center fed. Look, look at that noise floor and then when he weak. talks. I'll and I'm on amp one up, up here on the high band. Don't again. need. I didn't need amp two. I go to amp two. You know, it brings that noise floor up because I'm okay, I got the artificially Delta amplifying it. But I did not get the yeah, okay, so his signal comes up too, but who needs that? Got him great like that. Okay, again, R5. Boy, if I... I'm sorry, try that again. Over. Look what, watch what happens to the noise floor when I go to amp 2 with the R5. You know, so again, amp 1 yeah, is, sorry, is right plenty. Well, I think if you're there we are back to the ZS6 BKW. I'll be able to get it. Uh, my apologies, over. R5. And now switching over to the uh, doublet. The doublet's gonna have a little bit more of a noise floor for a couple of reasons. It's got really strong lobes on this band. Okay, is that kilo um, 
so it's very sensitive. Romeo, but look at it, you know, look at his signal. There's the R5. Uh, I missed it there, but I wanted you to see he was stronger on the doublet than he was the R5. And that'll that'll pass back and forth until the afternoon. Um, so anyway, the um, I was going to mention something about the. Uh, a double it. Okay, Kilo Two Radio Lima Fox. Oh yeah, the w other w other R source of noise. I'm going to tweak it's the oriented in such a way that it runs parallel to my house, and every little appliance, phone charger, uh, uh, I think I heard you ask uh, me uh, how the lamp for the fishbowl generate noise, and that antenna can, can pick that up morning. because it's running you parallel to the doing, house the and. Smoky, is super sensitive, is but I will say when I'm working QRP stations out west uh, on CW that are you know essentially at the noise floor or, or at zero, uh, that is the antenna that can pick them out, where the other ones usually do not. Once in a while, the OCF will, the OCF dipole. So again, that's doublet. I'll go back to the ZSX BKW. Yeah, Rich, I'm, I'm sorry. That's my I, best I signal to noise ratio. You. I think I heard uh, you well, say that your son is in R5. Oregon. I think you said your son All is center in fed Oregon. dipole. Uh, the um, western part That was probably the, the that's actually the best signal to noise ratio with the far eastern part is not ZS6BKW there. Uh, ZSX the there, there uh, would be some, the uh, uh, second place. Winds. Uh, the eastern Actually, part of the no. If you if you think about it, right now the OCF dipole, while it does have the lowest uh, lowest floor, it's not getting the signal up as high. So notice, A2 see, there's the uh, ZS6BKW. There's the R5. OCF dipole, R5, OCF, R5. You stay safe with COVID. Uh, go ahead to stay tuned. Call me just now. Go ahead. All right, there. W A four A M. R five. R A T. Good morning. Good morning. The QS Here Baker seems to affect I'm, uh, in the Portland, vertical Very antenna more Portland, than the horizontal. Portland, Oregon. Go ahead. Again, man, propagation, especially lately, has just been. Wacky. Our off center fed dipole. See where he comes back on it. Hmm, person on the other end must be long winded. Uh, Roger, oh, there we go. Kevin, no, these okay, so there he is. Off center fed dipole. No, He's a little uh, above S9. The uh, county directly R5? next to Portland wow. is up. under evacuation watch. That now there's the ZS6BKW. Back to the R5. So right now the R5 is winning. Let's check the doublet. Uh, they have three stages the of evacuation. Stage one is get ready. Stage two is get ready. He's talking set. about all the fires they've had out in Oregon. Go now. And, uh, uh, many people not just the ones set by the uh, looters and rioters. They're going to evacuation centers. So, Some of the evacuation centers are being wow. evacuated. It's a very serious situation. They way down on the doublet, and then over. there's ZS6BKW brought him back up. I could carry on a QSO with him easily on the R5 or the ZS6BKW. There's ZS6BKW. Again, the better noise for compared to signal. Signal to noise ratio. I'm hearing just a faint bit of the other station there. So anyway, I just wanted you guys to um, see. I ha I just have those four antennas, no beam. Um, between the four, uh, sp well, especially the three wire antennas, I can usually uh, get anybody I want to work. You know, unless bands, uh, uh, the the band conditions are just, you know, abysmal, which has happened a lot lately. But usually one of these antennas is good for it. 
and you know you hear that the art that verticals pull in a little more noise than they do because a lot of noise is vertically polarized but again in my case a lot of a lot of local noise is generated um, uh, that's why i was hearing that guy i was hearing him ground wave I'm, that's about a two hour drive from here I have a Zoom conference. I'll probably okay, do Okay, so conference. again, there we are. That and is on the ZS6BKW. I'll switch uh, back uh, over. We'll, we'll there's, the oh, man, there's the double. Uh, now look at that. I'm actually in Beaverton, Oregon. Oh, but the, look at the R5. Uh, He's coming up to 15 over on it. And uh, here it's just And there's the all center no fed dipole. Very close. Eight, uh, but, uh, 18 megahertz, 17 meters is getting live now. That's still all center fed dipole. R5 vertical, doublet, ZS6BKW. I could work him with any of the antennas, really. But you can see that the R5 did a really really good job. Overall, though, generally, that, especially on this band, that ZS6BKW yields the best, the best signal-to-noise ratio. And then later in the day, oftentimes the yeah, Roger, the doublet uh, yeah, I was just looking at the uh, does here. the better we're, job. We're old friends, uh, <laughs> Jim. We worked. That's uh, the doublet. In 2014, in That's the ZS6 BKW. So he took a dive uh, on that antenna, other, but he came up on the other. Five years, over. Now, when I switch to the ZS uh, to the uh, doublet, listen, hear that little whistling noise. That's one of those locally generated noises. It's about somewhere around 1,560 hertz. I just notched it out with the manual notch. So that's coming from something in my home. And, um, you know, what do you do? Other people live here. There's all kind of different appliances going on. Uh, but the worst is the washing machine. Uh, these new front-loading washing machines with... Uh, uh, you know, the digital screen, the uh, computer microprocessor control, the AC inverter drive, they're just horrendous. And apparently there is a loophole in Part 15, um, the FCC regulations, that uh, the manufacturers of those devices are able to exploit and they're getting away with it. So I encourage, encourage everyone to contact the FCC and let's try to get that uh, loophole closed. Okay, well, um, that's enough of that. I just wanted you guys to get get some uh, uh, comparisons of antennas, simple antennas. You know, uh, you could build these, you could buy these. Um, if you if you get busy like I did, I built my antennas in the early days, and then life got in the way, and I started buying a few here and there. Uh, the R5 is almost 30 years old. Actually, it's, yeah, it's about 30 years old, um, and has been doing very very well. Uh, so the off-center fed dipole is actually older than the R5. Um, the newer in, the newer antenna is the ZS6BKW, which has been around for, I've had it for about a um, year and a half now. And uh, it replaced an actual G5RV that also performed very well for me. You can't compare G5RVs without looking at several because not all of them are good. It's just how they're made. Um, there, you know, there, there's so many variations of the antenna that Lewis Varney designed that uh, aren't true to his design. Um, the best is the ZS6BKW because it outperforms all of them. Um, but that one's my newest antenna. Then the doublet has probably been up there about 12 years and I built it. Um, okay. I'll say 73 from N4H&H. &H. Hope you enjoyed the video.